What is up, people, and welcome. It's Kage, and this is a short update about Final Fantasy VII and Kingdom Hearts 3. We have some news and rumors, and the article comes from Express. I will put a link to that in the description down below. With that, I'm not going to read it word for word. I'm just going to sum up the article. So the article starts saying that Square Enix have two games in development, you know, two big games in development that fans are desperate to see launch in 2018. The article goes on to say while there hasn't been any rumors for Final Fantasy VII Remake, there have been rumors that something big was being planned. You know, it says it's worth taking with a pinch of salt. News suggests that Final Fantasy VII Remake will be launched in an episodic format, which we already know, but not in 2018, which I wasn't really thinking it would anyway. Then they say the first release was planned for the game to arrive in 2019. They say it's quite a blow for, you know, the fans that was actually looking forward to the game. In my opinion, it's not really because I'm pretty sure most people expected this. And some people I've seen say that they think it may come out in 2020. So I don't necessarily think this is a blow to the fans because they kind of expect that, you know, they probably like for it to come out in 2018. But I don't really think anybody really expecting it to come out in 2018. So it says a total of three episodes, which is kind of expected because I haven't really seen Square Enix go above three episodes when it comes to a Final Fantasy game. It was either two or three. I didn't really think they would go four. So that's pretty much expected. Then it basically says we could possibly see a big announcement at E3 2018, which I kind of agree with. I could basically agree with that. Now, this is a big part. They said Square Enix have revealed an official press release that Final Fantasy Remake will be making an appearance at the Final Fantasy 30th Anniversary Exhibition. And they said it will be held on January 22nd to February 28th in Tokyo. They also have some new images and I will be displaying them on screen right now. The first image shows Cloud and Barry fighting the original iconic Scorpion boss. And the second image shows Cloud hiding behind a crate. And, you know, he's ducking under fire, which I know a lot of people are probably asking, well, why doesn't Cloud just block the bullets? And the last image is where Cloud met Aerith in the city. So going back to the Final Fantasy 30th anniversary, what I want to see is probably some more gameplay and maybe a release window. It doesn't have to be a release date, but a release window like the year it may release in. I think that would be pretty cool. And to see, you know, a little bit more characters like, you know, Tifa, Lockhart, you know, we all want to see Tifa. Also, I'd like to see Aerith and Marlene. Now going on to the Kingdom Hearts news, which is pretty short. It basically says why there have been rumors and leaks suggesting that Kingdom Hearts will finally make a return this year. There also have been a few recent hints from Square Enix themselves. A tweet from the official Square Enix US Twitter account highlighted the game as which media publication Destructo were looking forward to seeing in 2018. And then it says this, the fact that Square Enix was willing to highlight this year as when Kingdom Hearts 3 will release suggests that it's a real possibility. Now this news isn't shocking or anything like that. We kind of expected Kingdom Hearts to come out this year. The only thing I'm wondering is will it come out in the middle or the end of the year? I'm probably thinking the end, but it can possibly come out in the middle. Now, can we possibly see something at the Final Fantasy anniversary, 30th anniversary? Maybe. I know a lot of people may say, Kingdom Hearts ain't a Final Fantasy game. Yes, technically it isn't. But Final Fantasy is canon to the Kingdom Hearts lore, and there hasn't been a Kingdom Hearts game that didn't feature Final Fantasy characters. So with that, Final Fantasy is a part of Kingdom Hearts, so I don't see a problem with them showing it at the 30th anniversary for Final Fantasy. So with all that being said, comment down below and let me know when you guys think we will get some more good information on Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts 3. Don't forget to power by hitting the like button, subscribe to join the guild, and as always my boys and girls, have a good one and game over.